Hi everyone, my name is Abhi Sharma and I'm the Director of Product at Avamo. Today, I'm gonna to be diving into some exciting new technology. So let's jump into the platform. I'm gonna go ahead and click this button to launch the Agent Builder, a new no-code way to build a virtual assistant using pre-built intents, entities, and content models in a particular domain. To build an intelligent virtual assistant, or IVA, from scratch, uh, takes a lot of skill in conversation design, natural language technologies, and deep domain knowledge. Now, we focused primarily on four key domains, and we've encapsulated all the key conversation-driven business workflows. We've condensed our experience with hundreds of large and small enterprises into a set of best practices that will get you a robust IVA in minutes. Now, the Agent Builder acts as a great starting point for your IVA. Everything can be configured up front and then modified later within the platform as needed. So let's go ahead and select Healthcare. Let's get started and give our IVA a name. Now, this is a generated list of the easiest to understand or approachable names from IVAs uh, in our experience. We'll go ahead and select uh, Ada. Click Next. So based on our deep experience with seven out of 10 of the largest healthcare providers in the US, we've taken the patient front door workflows that we have automated and mapped these as intents. All the key patient interactions with the healthcare providers from physician lookup to medication refills have been mapped to intents. And each intent includes uh, thousands of utterances in both voice as well as text. As you can see here, a good starting set is pre-selected for us to quickly review and to move on. These entities are similarly a byproduct of our work with healthcare providers. The entities represent variations and various types of medical terms, like symptoms to specialties, uh, that can be recognized and used to improve intent classification. A default collection is once again already selected based on the intents we chose in the previous step. We've curated a list of vetted sources, as you can see here, that we can add to our assistant so that patients can get answers to common questions. These answers can come from reputable and industry-leading sources like Johns Hopkins, the NIH, and more. And go ahead and select all of these and, and continue onwards. Now, most healthcare institutions are either using Epic or Cerner as their EHR. As a HIPAA compliant business, we've built deep integrations into these systems, allowing IVAs to provide a personalized experience for patients and providers for use cases ranging from checking lab results to scheduling appointments with PCPs. In most cases, the virtual agent needs to pass control to a live agent based on the specific type of query or escalation. We support bi-directional agent interaction uh, and integration with some of the most commonly deployed voice and the text live agent products in the market, and selecting one of these would automatically ingest the integration stubs. So let's go ahead and stick with Avamo for now. We'll click Next. Let's also enable a set of channels that our IVA needs to be made available on. Now, we support most common channels of user interaction across consumer, enterprise, IVR, digital, and as well as voice channels. Responses are automatically formatted to best match the selected channel and cross-channel interactions are also enabled by default. To enable your IVA across multiple languages, we simply have to select the set of languages. Uh, the workflows and the user messages are made available on these languages and, and can be further tweaked. You can also enable your IVA for voice-based interactions by selecting from our AI voice options, as you can see here. Now, these voice profiles have been digitally created from our voice actors, and you can select these, or if you want, you can also create your own AI voice profiles. And there's also a, an area here to test out these voices, which we could do. 
right? And there you have it, right? We've now built, we kind of get a summary screen, we've built a virtual assistant from scratch for the healthcare domain using pre-built intents, entities, content models, and a few configuration options. What we can do now is to actually try this out. We can see what this assistant can do uh, with a couple of examples. So let's click on try now. And we're taken directly to the virtual assistant and a simulator pops up allowing us to experience what the assistant is capable of doing. Uh, it's gonna introduce itself. Hi, I'm Ada, your, virtu your healthcare virtual assistant. I can help you schedule appointments, find providers and more. How can I help you today? So let's say that I suddenly got a rash from somewhere about two weeks ago, should I be seeing someone? All right, now we're getting an answer from a preloaded piece of content. And in fact, the exact answer to my question is actually highlighted here. A person should see a doctor if they're concerned about the cause of their rash. And this is possible using advanced deep learning. All right, so I can now say, okay, so is there a skin specialist nearby? I'm in Denver. Now I've said I would be looking for a skin specialist. The assistant has understood that I'm looking for a skin doctor, right, a dermatologist within about 30 miles of Denver. It's gone ahead and pulled up a couple of examples. And now I can go ahead and actually schedule an appointment with uh, one of these physicians. Perfect. Can you set up an appointment with Dr. Browning to check out my rash? All right. Now the assistant comes back and says, in order to get a dermatology referral, you'll need to first set up an appointment with your primary care physician, Dr. Adam Terry. Is this all right? All right, so this is an example of how this conversation might flow. I can say yes, that's fine. Okay, the earliest available appointment is 9.30 a.m. next Monday. Will that work? I can say sure. And the appointment is set. I'm told that I'll get a confirmation. Uh, and then I can also get a reminder on the day before. So a couple of different use cases that kind of bleed into one another uh, in, the, in the healthcare domain. Let's do one more thing. Let's now try and call this same virtual assistant. An easy phone number is provided. And as you can see, I was able to switch from the web interaction over to the phone interaction. We'll give this assistant a call. Hello, I'm Ada, your healthcare virtual assistant, and I can help you schedule appointments, find providers, and more. How can I help you today? We think our daughter has insomnia. Can we set up an appointment to see our pediatrician? I can definitely help you with this. To confirm, you'd like to set up an appointment with your child's pediatrician, Dr. Jake Clark, for a sleeping problem. Is this correct? Yes. Okay, the earliest available appointment is 1.30 p.m. next Tuesday. Will that work? Yes, that's fine. Okay, you're all set for 1.30 p.m. next Tuesday. I've sent a confirmation text to your number ending in 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'll also text you a reminder the day before your appointment. Thank you. Feel free to call back with any questions. All right. And that was an example of a similar use case via the voice channel, again, in one virtual assistant. And there you have it, right? As you can see, within a matter of minutes, we've got an IVA that can help us with a number of complex scenarios. Hope you found that interesting and thanks again for watching this overview of Avamo's Agent Builder.